I'm Roger and obviously not in the shop but at the renovation house and haven't done a video in a long time. We have been extremely busy with our e-commerce business. Thought it was time that I took a little bit of time to do a little bit of an update here at the renovation house. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour and uh, show you the progress we've made. And uh, today is the 6th of May and our goal is to have the granddaughter and her family in here by the end of May. So we'll see how that goes, at least that's the master plan. But for right now, uh, I'll take the camera off the tripod, give you a little bit of a tour on what's been done and what the progress is. Okay, one of the things you may have noticed was the, uh, the bedroom door is no longer those two uh, glass sort of French doors. We've got this uh, six panel door in here now, it's pine door, and on the side here will be some shelves for knickknacks and such, and I don't have the back panel on it yet, but hopefully that'll happen this weekend. And of course we got a mask, we got the miter station set up in here, got a little table set up in here, we got the paint all set up in here on the floor, getting ready for the next rooms. And looking towards the dining room, which is also a mess because we got stuff setting everywhere. Of course, everybody has a refrigerator in their dining room, but that's a place to keep the beer. You gotta have beer. The wall here that uh, originally had the windows in is now finished, ready for paint. This whole room's ready for paint. And I've gotta do a little bit of work up there yet with uh, rewiring that ceiling box for the ceiling fan and getting a smoke detector in here. And on the front, uh, the I should say the back bedroom, We've taken out that old door that was in there, tackled that yesterday, put a new six panel door in there, and that was fun because it was crooked in four different directions, just like the door in the front bedroom, and like most things in this house. And moving over here to what's going to be the laundry room, as you can see, everything is rocked and finished. Still needs a little bit of finish sanding, but this here will be the laundry room. We're going to have some can lights on the ceiling. And of course, got to finish around the window yet. And then we have the uh, basement stairway and door and everything. We got to trim that. Of course, everything needs to get painted. Hopefully, we'll be able to get that by the next couple days. And we'll move over here to the bathroom area, which was has been a project from the start. And we're ready to. Do some painting in here and get all the fixtures in. All the rocks been hung and finished. And no, I did not do the finishing. We actually hired a guy to do that, uh, that we've had do some other work for us before because I just literally did not have the time. And moving in here to the kitchen. Here again, we got everything rocked and finished. Got some temporary lights hanging. You're gonna get some cabinets ordered. Hopefully, we'll be able to get the kids in here by the end of the month. Okay, moving to the outside. I haven't got a whole lot of different things here, although the uh, great-granddaughter has some toys to play with there, and they've started to move some of the stuff out here. Got the grill there, got some of the patio furniture for the patio we don't have yet. We're sitting over there in the yard, and of course my truck's in the driveway. They get the new door in the back of the house. I don't know if I covered that in a previous video or not, but we do have the new door there. Got a new light on the side. And walking down the side here. Got the new light up there. We're gonna be getting the going on the siding here pretty soon. Got part of the new electric service done. I don't have the vertical mast up yet. I still need to work my way up there and get rid of that window that likes to let all the wasps into the attic. We're going to board that one up. There's plenty of vents in the roof and there's a vent on the other side of the house. Another thing I've noticed we're going to have to do some work on is this soffit up here. We're going to tear off that whatever they put on there and put vinyl soffit on. And of course all the old aluminum siding will be coming off. We'll be putting vinyl on it. And kind of give you a little bit of a view more of the front of the house here. Said all the aluminum siding will be coming off. 
there's some more of that soffit falling down. I don't know whose idea that was to put that non-waterproof hardboard crap up there, but it's uh, definitely not something we want. Moving around this side here. A little bit of a walk around on the outside. Still got to replace that windowsill there. It's got a little bit of a rot on it. That's why that one there isn't painted yet. Uh, that window right there is actually in a closet, and that'll go away. It'll get boarded up when we side the house. And that one there is uh, ready for paint, but not painted yet. Same with this one here. Ready for paint, but not painted yet. Yeah, moving here on the back, there's... Uh, that one there's been painted, it needs another coat yet, but it's uh, sealed up a little better. Same with this one here in the back of the house. So it's coming along, but there's a long way to go yet. Got the new faucet there. And we're gonna put another one on the side of the house. Just haven't quite got to that yet. And I need to do something with this railing because uh, well, it's not so sturdy anymore, as you kind of see right there. We even got a tree growing in the hole. So we've got to get rid of that. Probably do a little bit of uh, welding and sandblasting on this railing, repainting. Same with the bottom there. The bottom actually is all completely rusted off. But, coming along. So, so hope you got a little bit of something out of that. And, uh, yeah, things are kind of moving fast and slow. It kind of depends on which way you look at it. Um, our greenhouse business has been just overwhelmingly busy this year and it has kept me away from this project for quite a bit it's kept me out of the shop in fact uh, on the videos you if you've seen my shop you know I've got that nice big table saw with the router table and everything on well there's all kinds of stuff piled on top of it because with me that's a flat surface if there's a flat surface you put something on it yeah so eventually we'll get uh, slowed down a little bit and get caught up and I'll get the shop all cleaned up and we'll get back to making some projects and this house will be kind of an ongoing project all summer. We still have the siding to do and quite a few things to do, but I want to try to get the interior done so the kids can get in here and there'll be another update, hopefully not too far from now. So if you got something out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. It always helps the channel. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. You click that bell and gong it. You'll be notified when we post another video. I'm Roger in the Renovation House. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.